Kia ora, I'm Craig and this is my camping channel. Today I'm going to talk about a portable electric coffee grinder. Okay, I've been looking for a coffee grinder. Currently I'm using a manual coffee grinder and it works really well and I've had it for many, many years. What I was looking for in a replacement was A, that it was electric and I wouldn't have to do the grinding. B, that could be powered from 12 volt. And this one has a USB, so it can be powered from a USB port. C, that it had burr grindstones rather than the spinning blades, because I believe you get a better cut grind on the bare blades. This device on paper appears to meet all my requirements. So how is it working out? Let's have a look. Okay so I bought the coffee grinder um, from Mighty Ape. Um, it's an online company in New Zealand. I believe it's been bought out by the Kogan company from Australia. Had fast delivery and I'll provide the link above from where I got it. Looking online, there isn't a lot of coffee grinders that meet the requirements I want, which is to be able to grind coffee with electricity without using an inverter and being able to run from 12 volt. I didn't need the battery or the USB capacity, but this was one of the few only I could find that could do um, grinding while I was searching online. Okay, so it came pretty much um, packaged in here with bubble wrap and the coffee grinder, a brush and some instructions. And the instructions are pretty basic. Um, the coffee grinder breaks down coffee being placed into the top hopper here and ground coffee falling through into the um, container below. Okay so you lock it on and there are simple um, locking things and it's just a bit of clicking and then slide it back on and locking it again. The device is quite easy to use um, you basically put the coffee into the hopper and press the button. There's no coffee in the hopper at the moment. And that is one of the features of the device. When it grinds all the coffee, it shuts itself down, which is quite a useful feature. The reason I like the burr uh, grindstone is that I can adjust the coffee from a finer to a coarser grind depending on the type of coffee I'm making. I've tested it and videoed it on a fine grind uh, for espresso and currently I have it set to a coarser grind say for a mocha pot and I've also tested it on that. So I've got videos of that coming up and we can see how it goes. Now, I did have one issue with this coffee grinder. And here it is. This is the first one I bought. And it broke the first time I used it. Fortunately, I um, contacted Mighty Ape online and they sent a replacement. Um, there was no need to muck around sending the broken one back and I was able to keep testing with the new one. I'm hoping that it was an aberration that this one broke. Basically what happened is this little collar 
lost the connecting bit and the coffee was unable to be adjusted and the metal parts went through the grinder and stuffed the engine up. Also, of course, you can no longer adjust your grind size on the coffee after it was broken. But um, Mighty Ape has sent me the replacement, so I'm really pleased about that. And on the plus side, I guess I now have another coffee, ground coffee container. And I unfortunately can't use this one to grind coffee anymore because it won't. Anyway, this one's working and we can watch the um, grinding process. When I was filming this, I picked up a couple of things. Obviously, you need to charge it fully on the USB. I tried to use it as it came and it only ground roughly eight grams of coffee. So I charged it up again, uh, full, and that process is quite simple. Just plug a USB-C cable into the top and it starts charging. I use these little adapters. This one's for a USB-C port and it just plugs into a USB-C port. There are different ones for um, this type of cable for uh, Apple or micro USB. But what it means for me is that I have the same cables and I don't have to swap for different cables and they're magnetic and it just plugs in. So what I found when I'm charging this um, coffee grinder is you cannot grind. Um, as you can see the um, LED ring light is flashing um, indicating that it's um, charging. When it's not charging you get the blue light. I'm hoping that as I use it a little bit more because I've only got two and a half grinds off approximately 20 grams of coffee for each grind and then another 10 gram grind without flattening the battery. As far as I'm concerned the product would have been better if you could just keep it running on the USB cable but unfortunately you can't. So hopefully I've set that I'll load the hopper. Over for it. <clears throat> That's locked on. Now let's see it going grind. Okay, it's um, done a good job. It's ground down all the coffee beans in the hopper. So 
slightly coarser grain this time so now it's ground a quite a fine ground which would have been suitable for espresso and this time I'm going to try it in a mocha pot. Mocha pot has been around invented by a company, a man by Alati in Italy. They're generally all very similar with water going into the bottom chamber to below this uh, valve. About 20 grams of coffee going into this coffee basket with the top being screwed down and then applying heat to the bottom. There's not much you can do when you're making a mocha coffee. You can adjust the grind size and you can try and control the heat. What you're trying to do when you're making mocha coffee is if it's too fine, you'll build in the bottom changer and um, coffee delivery will be very slow, non-existent or potentially explosive using this vent. If it's too coarse, the um, water will come through the coffee grounds too quickly and um, it won't extract properly. If the temperature is too hot, too fast, it'll blow little holes through the coffee and vent through super little chambers rather than soaking the coffee and extracting it as it passes through. So it's a mix of grind size and temperature. So what you want to try and do is get it to start heating, start to boil, and then turn it down. You want the coffee to be coming out in an even flow, not too spurty, and not too slow. All right, I lifted the lid on the pot just so I can keep a close eye on it. If I get it right, I'll turn it down before it starts spurting out the top. If I get it wrong, it'll come busting out the top and possibly burn me. So I don't advise leaving the top up. Um, your health and safety tip, folks. Keep the lid down in normal operation. So I've dropped it to a medium flame height, just so I can turn it down quicker. I don't know if you can hear, but I'm starting to hear it start to boil. So I may drop it even lower. So what we're wanting to do is have the water boil and the steam press the boiling water through the coffee and come out the top. So I've turned that right down to low now. That's coming a little bit slower than I possibly like, but it's going well. And nor is it really spurting out. We're getting a good flow of coffee now. Possibly too much. I may turn off the temperature heat. And I've turned the heat off now, and as you can see, it's still quite hot. Still getting coffee coming out slowly, very slowly. We're probably done now. So I'll just pour a coffee. Oh, 
I'm going to get a huge cup of coffee, and this is a huge mug. But it smells really good. It wasn't that long to make. Came through quite quickly. All the coffee's now out. I'll leave this to cool and we'll come back over here. Wow. <laughs> New grinder, mocha coffee. Let's give it a go. It's quite hot. And that's not too bad. Mocha coffee is um, not espresso, stronger than. A French press. And you do get coffee which is extracted for a little bit of pressure and it's a little bit fiddly I think but it still tastes great. Anyway thank you for joining me. I've been able to grind coffee beans using a portable electric coffee grinder and that's worked well. We've made fine grind and a coarser grind for our mocha pot. We've made a mocha coffee without needing um, 240 mains power using a 12 volt system without it, any need for inverters uh, even better I did it without having to use any manual exertion I hope this review um, is of interest to people and that you um, might like this coffee grinder I'm kind of satisfied but the long term <laughs> will tell the story yeah, try using a mocha pot well it's good to have a different type of coffee occasionally um, and mocha pots come in multiple sizes. The cup size is for a small cup, uh, like espresso sizes. So uh, two is just satisfactory for uh, one person. And if I was going to go for two people, I'd go for a four or six pot cup mocha pot. The one I've got is um, just enough for one person. Thank you.